It was this a is hard pass, Cal. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. All right, so. Uh, Let's do it. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is rebooked. Yeah. The, the, Mike, the fight was Jake. supposed to be uh, this weekend that just passed, mm -hmm. but Mike Perry stepped up. Mm -hmm. And Jake Paul beat the shit out of him. Who the fuck is Mike Perry? <laughs> Mike Perry, he's a he's a guy. He used to fight in the UFC, and then he went to bare knuckle boxing, and then he been he he on a long winning streak in bare knuckle boxing. Oh yeah, yeah. And then Jake, uh, he stepped up to fight Jake Paul in boxing since Mike Tyson pulled out. Yeah. Now and Jake knocked his ass out. Yeah, he finished him in the sixth round. God, but dog. Richard was asking me because Richard asked me. He asked in the group chat, and that that you don't be checking. He said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said, "Who y'all got uh, out of uh, Mike Perry and Jake Paul?" I said, uh, "I think Jake Paul gonna take him." And uh, Richard was like, "You don't think uh, the bare knuckle boxing gonna translate over to boxing?" I was uh -uh. like, "No, I think it's two totally different sports, and the, the rules and regulations is all different." So, That's a fact. and sure enough, Jake Paul knocked him down in the first, knocked him down, and I think they said the third or something like that. And then yeah, he knocked him down in the fifth, and Mike uh, Perry got up. And then you know how the referee says, walk towards me. He stumbled. Referee was like, nope, that's Damn. it. God, yeah. Bro. Shout but out yeah. to Jake, man. I was looking for the post-fight interview, though, because he called out. He said that he going to fight Mike Tyson in November. Mm -hmm. And then he also called out Alex Pereira. God, though. Now. Yeah. Alex Pereira knocked Jake out. 100%. You think so? Yeah, 100%. I got Jake in that fight, though. Is there a reason why? Yeah. So I'm listening. Jake Paul. A heavy hitter. <laughs> Alex Pereira is a heavy hitter. Alex Pereira fought in uh, kickboxing and Jake boxing. Paul can withstand. His chin is stronger than Alex. Let's get into the video, trap. It, 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 I said what that, I said. That's interesting, though, because maybe it is. Maybe it is, and I'm underestimating that. But you are not. Alex Pereira that. Done knocked a lot of people out, man. It's hard to say Did that. Did he ever knock out the Jake Paul? Well, he's never knocked out the Logan Paul either. Are you saying Logan Paul lose? I mean, I'll beat uh, oh, Alex Pereira yeah. also. Oh, both of them <laughs> <laughs> to line them up, and then and then and then give Jamal his rematch, and he get knocked out three times. <laughs> you laughing? Shoot! Hey, Chuck, shut your whole ass up and make some jumps, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, do -do 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 -do. <laughs> All right, so hey, stupid, but I. I still got Jake beating Mike Tyson, and I don't even know why that fight's happening. Now, when we talk about Alex Pereira, it's a different story. Yep. But here's the thing. Yep. Alex Pereira is locked into a UFC contract with, like, seven fights. Mm -hmm. So the Jake Paul fight ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And I think that that's the reason that Jake Paul did that. He did it intentionally knowing that Alex can't Publicity. fight him. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you a question. What Talk are the it. odds of, because that would be a huge payday, mm -hmm. what are the odds of Dana White making it happen? It, it Dana ain't going to do it. <laughs> First of he all, he'll make a bow. Here's the thing. Dana don't like Jake at all. At all. At all. Dang. And for two, it would have to get Dana paid a lot in order for him to say that fight makes sense. He would get paid a lot, though. He don't know that, though. Or, or it, 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 There's no numbers to uh, translate to Dana to say this will make you a lot of money. I mean, if we being honest, if I can be 100% honest, mm -hmm. you can have them boys fight on a Friday. Mm-hmm. If I'm being honest, I'm Alice going to knock him out in the first round with 30 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Then Alice can fight Saturday night. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm That's saying? True. So you yeah. make it a quick come up, man. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Jake Paul, though. I don't think he uh, want to see. I want him to see Alex, <laughs> but I don't think yeah. he gonna it's, do it's it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's a little slick call out, but everybody know that the UFC – the only reason they did Floyd versus Connor is because it it generated that much revenue that it they they could do it. Yeah. Everybody else that fought for the UFC that went to boxing, Dana ain't had nothing to do with that. It was like y'all yeah. go ahead and do that. Yeah. Oh uh, man, I think Jake Paul did a great marketing move. Mm -hmm. I can agree with saying that. Saying that. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you want no problems with Alice. I want to see it happen. Though. I do too. I do too. I want to see it happen. Shout I would out love to Jake to see it Paul, man. Yeah, shout out to Jake.
But yeah, so the Mike Tyson thing, it, you said they got pushed back to November. November. Yeah, and Jake just fought. Uh, the weekend had just passed, so from seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's four months away. Yeah, I got something. To look it was for three and some change man. away. You think uh, I saw? I saw a video of Mike Tyson reacting to Jake Paul knocking out uh, Mike Perry, and, yeah. and he was just sitting there with a straight face, like. Like his face looked like I can't wait to get my hands on him, but bro, it's it's over, man. He's sixty, bro. That's a fact. He's but 60. if he win though, it does help his legacy. If he loses, it's like man, yeah. he was sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a it's a lose lose for Jake, and it's a win win for Tyson. That's a fact. Shout out to Jake Paul, man. Shout out to Tyson too. I ain't even gonna cap. I low key don't want to see it happen because I think he might kill Mike. I think it's a possibility. But uh, Sean O'Malley, twenty nine. Yeah. Mm. And and J and Sean O'Malley became champ at twenty nine, I think. Mm. And he he felt he said that he felt like he was in the prime since twenty seven. So. Word. Shout out to them boys, man. Shout out to uh Jake Paul. Out here catching matches and winning. Shout mm-hmm. out to Tyson. Yep. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. Hey, you stupid. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Well, you got anything else on Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Or Jake Paul versus Mike Perry, but it, that don't matter. No yeah, more. it don't matter. I hope Mike Drop Tyson down in the comments. Let us know if y'all think Tyson too old. If y'all think somehow, some way Tyson going to pull it off. I don't see Tyson pulling it off, man. Shout out to Kamala Harris. If he do. If he do? If he do pull it off, it, 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 it'll it, be the greatest. It it might be the greatest moment in sports history. It might. Because after all that Jake Paul is going through, and then Mike Tyson comes out of basically retirement. And knock it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that would be impressive. That it would, would be, be impressive. But yeah, Shut let us know what y'all think, man. Yes, all. Yes, all.